Okay, we're going to create a manager user and or assign a manager role to a user and then create a web service that allows them to use Poodle Trigger. So to do that, we'll go to the users section of the site administration and we go to permissions and assign system roles. And here we have the manager role, which currently has no users associated with it. We find the user that we've designated as our manager user, which is Bob the Builder, and we add that to the manager role, or add the manager role to Bob the Builder. Now the next step is to go to the web services section uh, and to the external services and find the Poodle Trigger external service. Uh, and we're going to authorize Bob the Builder to use the Poodle Trigger service. So we choose Bob the Builder, we add the, the interface is very similar to the interface we use to create a uh, manager role. So now we've authorized Bob the Builder and we've set him or her to be a manager. And we're going to now create a token for Bob the Builder. Uh, in the create token screen, we need to choose the user. So Bob. And we need to choose a service. And so the service we're going to choose is Poodle Trigger. Uh, we could set an IP restriction or a valid date, but in this case we won't. Okay, so now we have created the token and it's available here on the left hand side in the list of uh, users and tokens on the manage tokens page. Uh, and we can copy that and then use that in any location that requires an API key. Uh, and that would probably be Zapier, which allows us to automate tasks using the Poodle Trigger Zapier app.